Relations, Functions, Domain, and Range What is a relation? A relation is a set of ordered pairs. One, two, three, four, seven, eight are ordered pairs. So, if you combine several ordered pairs, it becomes a set of ordered pairs. This set is called a relation. Here you have other examples of relations. The domain and the range. The domain is the set of all the x values of the relation. The range is the set of all the y values of the relation. Let us consider this relation. The set of x values 0, minus 1, and minus 5 is the domain. The set of y values 1, 4, and 8 is the range. A function is a special type of relation. In a function, each y value is assigned only one x value. This means, in a function, the domain does not repeat values. To understand functions, let's compare the two relations below. Relation 1 is a function, because the x values 1, 4, and 7 does not repeat. Relation 2 is not a function because the x values 1, 5, and 5 repeats. There are other ways to see if a relation is a function. We can use the vertical line test. The other method is by using mappings. In the vertical line test, a vertical line must intersect the graph of the function at no more than two points. This means that if the vertical line passes the graph of the relation at two or more points, it fails, then that relation is not a function. For example, let's consider the graph of this straight line. Notice that when we draw the vertical line, it passed the straight line at only one point. There is just one point of intersection. Therefore, this relation is a function. Another example. Let's consider the graph of this relation. Notice 
that when we draw the vertical line, there are two points of intersection. Since there were two points of intersection, this relation is not a function. Another test that we can use to determine whether a relation is a function is by mapping. Let us create a mapping of the following relations. Then we can determine whether each relation is a function or not a function. Here is the mapping of the first relation. These are the x values. And here are the y values. Notice that each x value maps to only one y value. Since the relationship is 1 to 1, then this relation is a function. Here is the mapping of the second relation. These are the x values. And here are the y values. Notice that two different x values may go to only one y value. But the x values does not repeat. Since the x values does not repeat, this relationship is called many to one, and this relation is a function. Here is the mapping of the third relation. These are the x values. And here are the y values. In this case, an x value goes to two different y value. In this relation, the x values repeats. Since the x values repeats, this relationship is called one to many. Therefore, this relation is a not a function. To deepen our understanding of relations and functions, let us have some exercises. Determine whether each of these relations is a function or not a function. Here is the mapping of the first relation. Since the x values does not repeat, this relationship is called many to one, and this relation is a function. Here is the mapping of the second relation. Since the x values repeats, this relationship is called one to many. Therefore, this relation is a not a function. Since the third relation is presented in graph form, we can use the vertical line test. There is just one point of intersection. Therefore, this relation is a function. The fourth relation is also presented in graph form. We will use the vertical line test.
since there were two points of intersection. This relation is not a function. Here is the summary of the answers to the four exercises we had just finished. If the x values does not repeat, it is a function. If the x values repeats, it is not a function. If there is only one point of intersection, it is a function. If there are two or more points of intersection, it is not a function.